Good morning. This is Susan, and this is Susan's Ramblings. I have more recipes for you today. Since when don't I have recipes, huh? This is dried base soup mix. I have used this mix for years and years and years. In fact, I don't buy any cream or mushroom soup anymore, or celery soup, unless I need it, unless well, I got the project coming up, and I will show you to you show them to you. But generally, this is the base I use: two cups of dry milk, two thirds cups of cornstarch, one teaspoon of onion powder, one half teaspoon of dried basil, one half teaspoon of thyme, one half teaspoon of parsley, one fourth teaspoon of pepper, one half teaspoon of garlic powder. Combine all ingredients thoroughly. Mix store in an airtight container and to use one third cup of mix, one and one fourth cups of water. Combine the ingredients in a small saucepan and heat over medium heat, stirring until constantly until it reaches the desired consistency. This mix equals nine cans of cream of soup. For cream of chicken, add chicken. Cream of mushroom, add mushrooms. Cream of celery, add celery, and so forth. Dried soup recipe. Like I said, I've used it for years and years. Homemade cheese sauce. This is a thicker cheese sauce that I will use for macaroni and cheese and so forth. Two tablespoons of butter, two tablespoons of flour, one cup of milk, one eight ounce package of cream cheese, one half cup of cheddar cheese, milk, shredded, cheddar cheese, shredded. Melt your butter in a small saucepan, add your flour, cook for approximately one minute or until slightly bubbly. Add your milk, stirring constantly. Add the cream cheese, stirring until the cheese has melted. And then you add your cheddar cheese and stir until it's melted. Homemade cheese sauce. Copycat Hidden Valley Ranch Dressing. This is another recipe I have used for years and years and years. One fourth cup of powdered buttermilk one tablespoon of dried parsley, one half tablespoon of onion powder, one teaspoon of garlic powder, one teaspoon of dried chives, one half teaspoon of dried dill, one half teaspoon of salt. Combine all ingredients, mix together, mix thoroughly, store in a glass container to use two and a half teaspoons of a tablespoon of mixture equals one packet of of ranch dressing. For your dressing, three tablespoons mix with mix with one cup of mayonnaise and one cup of milk. For your ranch dip, three tablespoons of mix with two cups of sour cream. Ranch dressing mix. Homemade chicken noodle soup. Two packages of Raymond noodles, but you use only one seasoning packet plus one bouillon cube in water. One can of chicken. You include your juice. Two cans of, and use two cans if small. One can of carrots drained. You reserve your juice to save for another day. Onion flakes to taste, celery leaves to taste, poultry seasoning to taste, thyme to taste, pepper to taste. Cook your Raymond noodles as directed on the packet. Use only one seasoning packet plus one bouillon cube and water. Add the Raymond remaining ingredients. Cook until heated soup. Homemade chicken soup. And remember, your Raymond noodles are just supposed to be a base. You're supposed to add vegetables 
and protein to make it a full meal. Copycat Applebee's barbecue sauce. Put one cup of sauce, one half cup of apple butter, one third cup of Catalina dressing, one third cups of ketchup, two tablespoons of Worcestershire sauce. Combine all your ingredients, mix thoroughly, store in a refrigerator or a freezer. And for one quart of sauce, one and one half cups of apple butter, one and three, one third cups of Catalina dressing, one and one third cup of ketchup, one half cup of Worcestershire sauce, and follow your directions above. This is a budget 101 recipe. Granola bars. Two cups of oats. One cup of peanut butter. One half cup of peanuts. One half cup of raisins. One cup of honey. One half teaspoon of salt. Line an eight by eight pan with parchment paper. Combine all your ingredients and mix thoroughly. Press into a pan. Let harden and cut into squares. And one final one. If I can get it separated here. Oatmeal cake. Pour one and one half cups of boiling water over one cup of oatmeal and allow to cool. <coughs> Excuse me. One and one half cups of shortening. One cup of brown sugar pat, one cup of white sugar, two eggs, one teaspoon of vanilla, one and one half cups of flour, one teaspoon of baking soda, one teaspoon of cinnamon, cream your shortening, sugars, and vanilla, eggs and vanilla together. Add to your oatmeal mixture. Mix well. Add the flour, the baking soda, and the cinnamon. Mix well. Put batter in a greased 9 by 13 inch pan. Bake at 350 degrees for 25 to 30 minutes or until test is done. For your topping, 6 tablespoons of melted butter, 2 thirds cup of brown sugar, 1 fourth cup of evaporated milk, 1 cup of coconut or oats. Combine all the ingredients, mix well. Put on a warm cake, place under a broiler to brown. Watch closely so it doesn't burn. Oatmeal cake. That's it for today. Have a great day. God bless.